he gonna win you now by the robes he put on. This is KVC out of not, not by com. Not, not, not no more by the whip. But, Back to the lecture. The and the gavel of the law. John Robinson. So, you know, our renaissance had to be wiped out or we'd have been downtown. Okay? Our names would have been on the big billboards in the highlights. When you go to Atlanta, you're gonna find the slum area. When you go to Orlando, you're going to find the slum area. When you go to Miami, Palm Beach, Lauderdale, Baton Rouge, I don't care where you go in every city, New Orleans, they're all are the same because they wiped up our renaissance during those, I think it was six years. It was from uh, 1917 through 1923. This, this, this was the last of But they struck horror. Uh, the, the, the lady, he... This Rains was telling you about right. Mary Turner. Right. Um, they took her in, at, in Hay High, was it, Rains? Right outside of Hay High on the Folsom Bridge. And in fact, uh, Mary Turner, uh, the reason why they lynched and cut her nine month old fetus from her body wound was because her husband was allegedly involved in the killing of a black plantation owner in Brooks County. Uh, that is the seat where in the, the equipment 10, if you Google the equipment 10 on the internet, you'll find out what they are going through. But, but what I want to do, as he was saying, is that Mary Turner's husband's name was Hayes Turner. Hayes Turner was, was uh, first taken, they arrested him, put him in the, in, the, in the Brooks County Jail, and they said they were taking him to Moultrie for his own safety, but they caught him, and they say he was ran, overran by the mob. But we believe the sheriff's department turned him over to the mob and lynched him at the old campground. Uh -huh. And then when after they lynched him, here's where Mary Turner came in. Mary Turner made a statement. All she did was make a statement that if we find the person that if we find the person that murdered my husband, I want him prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. That's what she said. That's all she said. And by her saying that, that was too much. And so they caught her and cut the baby from her. And then the white mob member took his the heel of his boot and crushed crushed the baby's head and said that she gave out a couple of cries, and that's all was heard. Uh, we had uh, Governor Dorsey was the governor at that time. There was over 500 people left uh, Brooks County, they say, and like that was a few weeks or a month. Uh -huh. And so too many, and that was during May, which is presumed to work on the field, they need them to work. And so what was, they say, if the governor had, had say he threatened the, the people of South Georgia, that if they didn't stop the killing, that they were going to call in federal, the federal government. But there was 15 people, 13 to 15 people that actually was killed, and they now call it the week of terror. You don't hear much about it. And then we had, just to show you, when he talked about suppression of our history, to keep us from being the great people that we historically are, right. you know, then what they do, they keep that history from us. We had a 105 car uh, motorcade from Hay High, as he said, to Folsom Bridge, where he was lynched. We erected a monument there, and a historical monument. And what happened, not one piece of news coverage from TV nor newspaper covering any of it. And this is how history will be lost. This is why Mr. Robinson and myself are here today. And if anybody calls us, this is why we come. Because there's too much African American history being lost. Yeah. That's right. And if it is lost and if it's not recorded in the book somewhere, how will our children in the coming generation know what happened? You know what I mean? And so I'm going to back out and, 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 and I'm going to stop right there. But we could go on. Because right now, today, we in a metro city in Valdosta. Mm -hmm. In a metro city, we would have you to understand. Now, we only have one local newspaper and, one, and USA Today. Now, America's Georgia, only 19,000 people in that little city, if that many. They got six newspapers, three published local, and three others. See what I'm saying? So I have always got to you go to the Internet. I don't hide nothing. All you have to do is Google. Once you get my name, Google it with everybody because I'm on the issue. The reason I'm on the issue is I'm sick and tired of seeing the same thing that my grandmama told me about. Damn, if I don't see him today, y'all. Back in the and, 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 and the thing is, and, and, and a little part he left out was that when they, before they cut the baby out of her, they had her hanging up by her heel strings. Oh. And then when they did that, they riddled her body with bullets. And that was during that Renaissance period, and it was to strike fear, horror, right. nationwide. Okay? Now, here in Rosewood, these people suffered. Now, can you imagine these people? struggling for their lives and the, it was cold, it was below freezing, and they were struggling through these woods from here to Gainesville. Slept in the woods. Now we're gonna take y'all to the other side over there. 
and you will see actually some of the some of the places where we put the bridge, some of the places of the lagoons that they had to, to trample through. Uh -huh. And and one little girl they said that she they stayed in the woods for three or two or three days. Yeah. Nothing to eat, this kind of thing. And the, the deal is that we have to contribute something, uh -huh. okay? From our own dedication through education that the economical cycle can change. You all have the input, and you have the ability, and you are somebody. And when I say somebody, I mean you are really somebody special, okay? Because see, we all are in religion, whether you know it or not. You follow me? And from the American culture and the Jamaican culture, all from the Caribbean, all our ancestors were separated one from another, and we were incessantly bred. So my DNA may be part of any one of your DNA. So we all are real relatives. We are not, do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because of the, because of the, the slave trade, what it done. In, in, in other words, they take my sister, bring her back to me, and then take your brother, Breed back to, to my sister and then separate us from Cape One to California. Then that one go out there and breed and, and, and it was a breeding process. So we are all intermingled together. We we we, we should feel condemned when we draw a gun out or just draw the other's blood in any in any form. Because we actually is really, really hurting our own family because we were incessantly breeding. Amen. Amen. Oh, beautiful brother. Um, if, I have a question. Oh, go ahead. Uh, brother Robert, yes. how far is Gainesville from here? You said they have um, to walk. About 40 miles. I think it's 40 or 40 miles. Yes, 40 or 40, 40, 40 miles. And, and what month was this? January. Oh, the coldest Jan month. Yeah, yeah, the yes, it, and it was freezing. It was, a free, it was, it was freezing. It was. And approximately how many how many had to escape? Oh, man. I, I think it was, what, hundreds of them, wasn't it? Everything <laughs> lived out here. Huh. Yes, sir. Whatever the population was out here that was like they in, in a few and there were there were seventeen. Um if if you do the research you will hear more than one story. Some gonna say only five died, some gonna say seventeen died. I see. Okay, and then one story told by the chef that say he seen the bodies that they took a big plow and dug a gouge in the ground out here somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, we don't know where. So we talk about a helicopter. Something like that. Yeah. And and, and these, these was the Masons. And then, and they, there were 17 of these guys, and they remained, and they wouldn't leave with the carry. They, um, Sylvester Carey, and they, his mother, I think, was the, he was the first or second one that got killed, and he shot in his home, and Sylvester decided to defend himself, and what I understood was that the other brothers came back, and they, and they, and they, and they defended themselves against the mob for four days. And they finally reeled the house with bullets, and they claimed that there's a grave somewhere that's got 17 bodies in it, that they took a plow and the chef said he was a little boy, he seen the body, and now this is, you can pull this up on the internet and it'll give you the history on this, what I'm talking about here now. And it's the story that this guy tells, that he actually saw the bodies. And then we got word that if we would get close to where these bodies are found, that they were going to take an excavator and dig them up and take them and dump them out there. Okay, and okay. Okay, being that note, let's close this clip on that right there, if you don't mind. Thank you very much.